Well, hi everyone, Chef Ron Locke here. Now, we are just moments away from starting this week's episode of the Chef Ron Locke Show, but I just wanted to tell you, I'm really excited because I've got my buddy Smokey. Harley Davidson is going to be coming on to the show today as a returning special guest, and he is going to be introducing today's recipe along with the ingredients that will be going into that. Then after that, I'll be coming along and showing you how to put it all together. At the very end, we'll show you a final presentation that I hope you will enjoy. We also got a great mailbag segment coming up for you and some other goodies, and I hope to leave you with our three E's that I try to do each week. A little bit of entertainment, a little bit of education, and a little bit of enlightenment. So, without any further ado, I need to get going and start heating up this kitchen. So let's get started with the Chef Ron Lock Show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Harley Davidson, Smokey. Hey, bros and sisters, it's Smokey. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my, 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 my. Let me tell you, I have had an eventful day. I had to run from the hospital to come here because we had a special event in our family. My daughter gave birth to a son. Yes, yes, yes. I am a grandfather. Believe it or not, I am a grandfather. And uh, the old lady's a grandmother. She, uh, I don't know how she feels about that. I know she's pretty overjoyed about the whole thing. I don't think the grandmother part is sunken into her just yet. But uh, I know for me, it, uh, it really makes you think, you know. Oh, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, you think like, wow, I'm really getting old now. I'm a grandpa, you know. I mean, oh, God, you know, what's coming next, you know. <laughs> Good Lord. Anyway, it was a very blessed day for the Davidstons today. And so I almost didn't make it here. And actually, I had called Chef Ron, and I told him I was having this birth going on, and he understood, and actually we had somebody else lined up, but I got here just in the nick of time, and I drove safe. I was good. I was good. I didn't do any crazy maneuvers or anything like that. I was good. I want my, I want my grandson to have a grandpa for a long, long time, because I didn't have one when I was young. I didn't have grandparents, really. Um, I really didn't have parents, to be honest with you, either. But, uh, but that's for another story and another time. And I just wanted to tell everybody the great news here. I'm really enjoying being a part of the Chef Ron Locke show. My first outing, I was a little nervous. And I think I'm a little more comfortable with the cameras and everything today. Somebody asked me, why do you, why do you wear these glasses? And I said, I wear glasses almost all the time. I have this problem, I have this, this, this vision problem with brightness, and so my eyes, I can't open them very well. They're very squinty. If you see pictures of me, a lot of times I'm very squinty-eyed because my eyes, I just can't see real well with the, with the light. And all these lights around here on this, on this studio, kitchen studio here that we've got set up, it just, I, I could never, I'd be, I'd be closing my eyes, I'd be just it wouldn't be right it wouldn't be a good thing so anyway that's why I wear glasses most of the time when people ask me you know people think I'm on drugs or or I'm stoned or something like that and that's not the case at all I mean yeah I did all that back in the day but I don't do that anymore I'm drug free you know I, I believe in God I'm a Christian and I try to live a good life I have a beer here now and then and that's probably all about it anyway 
try to do the best I can. But anyway, it's a good day for the Davidstons today. We have a new Davidston in the family. They haven't named him yet, so I don't know what his name is. Next time I come on, I'll let you guys know if I think about it. But anyway, we need to get on with the show. So what are we having today? We're having crock pot creamy pork chops is what we're having today. And don't that sound good? I love pork chops. I like creamy stuff. I don't think there's any beer in this, but I'll have to see. I don't think so. Well, that's all right though. We had we had beer and the chicken on the last time I was on the show, and that's and that's all right too. Even though they didn't get they didn't make it so I could open up the bottle and drink any of it, even though I wanted to sneak a little bit of it, that's all right. I didn't mind. Yeah, like I said, you know, I'm here to pay a debt off and, and, and to do a good deed for my bro, Chef Ron. All right, so we're doing crock pot, creamy pork chops. And let's go ahead and try to tell you what's going in this. Let me see if I can figure all this out here. I know what some of this stuff is. Some of it I'm going to have to wing a little bit, I think. All right, I see here we've got three boneless pork chops, okay? And that looks like those are the thick cut from what I understand here. Those are thick cut pork chops. And from what I understand, you have to wash them and then pat them dry with a paper towel, I guess. And uh, then you can go ahead and get them set up to go. That's what we got here. Again, like I said, I don't really cook. I'm just going by notes that I have here. So I, 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 I'm pretty sure I'm giving you all the right information here anyway. All right, it's in the recipe, I'm sure, too. It'll, and Chef Ron will probably tell you anything on this. So, All right, so that's three boneless pork chops. All right, and we got here two packages, two regular size packages of ranch dressing mix. All right, now we've got four medium-sized red potatoes that have been cubed up, all right, and uh, that's looking really good there. We've got some soups here, it looks like. We've got uh, one can, I guess, ten and three quarters of uh, cream of chicken, and we've got here, uh, let's see here, this looks like uh, one can, ten and three quarters of cream of mushroom, and then here we've got a half a can of of a ten and a half, ten and three quarter can, a half of that can of cream of, or cheddar cheese, I guess, creamy cheddar cheese, cream of cheddar cheese. Guess you all know what that is. Anyway, that's what's in the recipe here. Those are the ingredients. No beer, no beer. And darn it, there should be a beer. Darn it, I got my grandpa today. I'm a grandpa today. Oh Lord, I'm excited. Yeehaw! I'm excited. Good Lord. Anyway, all right, I better contain myself. I don't want to lose it here on the show. But anyway, that's what we're having. Now, I need to get going here because I got to go see my grandson and my daughter. But anyway, Chef Rod's coming right up. He's going to go ahead and show you how to put this all together in the crock pot and then show you how it all turns out at the end. All right, so this is Smokey saying, y'all keep the shiny side up. And the rubber side down. My brothers and sisters, you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you real soon. See ya! Well, hi everyone, Chef Ron here. How's everyone doing out there today? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for coming and checking out another episode of the Chef Ron Lock Show. We have a great episode for you today, as we always try to do on every episode of our show here. Now, Smokey, didn't he do a really good job? Didn't he do a good job? He's getting a lot more comfortable in front of the camera. Now, he won't tell you that. He won't tell you that to your face, but I'll tell you, just by watching him do the uh, segment here just a bit ago, I can tell he's, he's enjoying it a little bit more. He's getting a little more looser and a little more comfortable. And uh, that's a great thing. That's a great thing because I know he's really, he really hates to have to come on here and do this. And he's, again, doing this as a favor to me. But uh, he's really, he's really starting to come along, I think. I think so. And the second outing of his ingredient introduction and recipe introduction. Now, Smokey, also told you what we're going to be making on this episode, and that's going to be our crock pot creamy pork chops. And let me tell you, 
We're keeping it short and simple here, as we always try to on the Chef Ron Locke Show. And today's episode is no exception. This is great for anybody that's on the go, anybody that's on a budget. This will probably net you probably around $10 to make for a sitting of three. We're going to be using three pork chops today. And it's just really simple. You can prepare this right before you go to work. Or if you're going to run errands, you can do this on a couple different temperatures. We'll get to all that in a little bit. So there's a lot of versatility with this, with this particular recipe. And I really think you're going to enjoy this one a lot. There's a lot of great flavors going into this. And well, well, you know what? let's just get started and I'll show you what this is all going to entail. All right. So first, what we want to do, we want to go ahead and make the sauce that's going to be going on top of our pork chops in the crock pot. So let's go ahead and do that first, shall we? Now, you've seen all the ingredients we've got. We're going to go ahead and just mix those up into a medium-sized bowl. So get yourself a medium-sized bowl like we have right here, okay? And then we're just going to go ahead and start adding in our soups. Now we've got three soups here. We've got the cheddar cheese soup that we're going to go ahead and put in. That. I just use a teaspoon or tablespoon. Um, you can go ahead and use a wooden spoon or a spatula, whatever kind of mixing utensil you want to use. Uh, we're going to go ahead and now add in our cream of chicken. And we're going to go ahead and add in our cream of mushroom. Okay. Just like that. All right. Then I want to go ahead next and add my ranch, my dry ranch dressing mix here. Just throw that on top like that. Lastly, we've got our cup of milk. We're just going to go ahead and kind of pour that on top of everything. Just like that. All right. Yeah, I know I'm holding on to the spoon. <laughs> I, heard, I heard somebody in the audience there saying, let go of the spoon, let go of the spoon. So for you out there that said that, you know what? Here's your spoon. <laughs> all right, so what we're going to do is we got our medium bowl here. We're going to go ahead and we got all our ingredients in here. We're just going to go ahead and mix this up. Just real simple here. This is very easy. This is one of those guide meals I was telling you about. When we had Smokey on the last time we did a crock pot recipe, and I was telling you all about how it's so easy and really not intimidating at all to do these crock pot recipes. And a lot of my a lot of my guy friends out there who've never really been comfortable in the kitchen using a lot of utensils and stuff really really like the convenience and the ease of these kind of recipes because basically they can go get this ready before work, leave for the day, come home and have the house smelling fantastic and basically they got a meal already waiting for them when they get home and get showered and changed. So that's what we're doing here. You can see we're just going to lightly mix this together. You don't have to really go crazy on this because we're just going to pour this on. What will happen is as this gets heated into the crock pot, it will break down and it will all congeal around the pork chops and our potatoes that will be on the bottom part. Okay, just like that. That's all we're going to really do. All right, for you out there, I'm getting rid of the spoon now. <laughs> see, no spoon. All right. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you now. See, I caught you. Now, before you even start anything, make sure your hands are nice and clean and make sure your kitchen environment's nice and clean too. You know, I got so excited into getting into this crock pot recipe, I forgot to get that bit in there before we got started. So, I know you all know that anyway, but I like to add that in in the episodes here just so in case anybody out there might, uh, for some reason, not have a clean environment or clean hands, that they remember to do that before they get started with their meal. All right, so that's it. That is going to go on top of our pork chops and potatoes. When we come back, we're going to take a little break now, so don't go anywhere. Just hang in there for a second. When we come right back, we're going to go ahead and layer our crock pot with our potatoes, pork chops, and this fantastic sauce that's going to be going on top of it. All right, so you come right on back. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to roll up my sleeves because we're going to get a little busy here with our food. And we're going to heat up the kitchen just a little bit on this episode of the Chef Ron Locke Show. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little more comfortable here. Hope you all don't mind. <laughs> all right. So now I want to talk pork chops. 
First thing you want to do if you have this option in mind is to sear your pork chops. For today's episode, I'm not going to do that. You could perfectly put these pork chops in raw and they'll cook up just fine with this recipe. But I know some people, and I even do it sometimes myself depending on the situation, will sear the meat in first before doing any crock potting or slow cooking. And that's to brown the meat. So if you want your pork chops a little bit on the brown side before you put them in, just go ahead and put them in a large skillet and then just sear them on either side for about a minute to two minutes on each side just to get them a nice golden brown, all right? Put a little oil in there as well and that'll do you up just fine, all right? But again, for this particular episode, I'm not gonna do that, but I wanna give you that option just in case. So the reason I don't really do it for this recipe is because you're gonna have the soup mix all on top of everything and when you're done, that's going to create your gravy that's going to go on top. So you're not going to really see anything as far as the coloring of the pork chops themselves. If you were serving this as a pork chop, say on a bed of pasta or rice or as a side, and nothing on top of it, then I would probably go ahead and sear them for appearance, especially if you were going to be doing this for company or for some sort of presentation. So just a little tip there for you all on that. All right, so given that, if you have it done that and you want to sear them, go ahead and sear them first. Also what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and get four medium-sized red potatoes. And this is another option as well. You can either peel the potatoes first or leave the skins on before you cut them up. Because what we want to do is cut them up into cubes and we're going to layer those in first in our crock pot right here. But that's a total option again as well. I like my skins on my potatoes. I love skins on my mashed potatoes, skins on, I love, the, I love to eat the skins on the baked potatoes. I, I keep my skins on all my potatoes basically because I know that the vitamins mainly lay within the skin itself and I want to get the full nutrients from the potato. But I know a lot of people don't like the skins and they'll go ahead and they'll peel them off. Again, another option for you either way, it will work just fine. So in this episode we're leaving our red skins on them and uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So again, just another option if you want to peel them, just make sure you wash your potatoes off first, scrub them to get all the loose dirt and anything else that's on them. And then also at that point, if you want to peel them, just peel them off. And then just go ahead and cut them up into cubes. And then we're going to go ahead now and put those into our crock pot. One other little tip for you before we get started. Yeah, I know, I know. We want to get on here, right? But what, give, me, give me a second here now. It's my show. Come on now. <laughs> One more quick tip. If you want to prepare your potatoes a little ahead of time, say you want to cut them up the night before, because you want to really just get everything in here before you take off for work or whatever you want to do to cook this for the day, go ahead and cut them up the night before, get them in a big bowl, and then get some ice, get them in a bath of ice water, all right? You don't really even need to put ice water in there, just regular water will do fine, and, let, and you just cover them and let them sit in overnight. What the, what the purpose of that is, is they will not brown, okay? Unless you don't care if they're brown potatoes or not, but if you want to have them still nice and white, Go ahead and do that method and your potatoes will stay nice and white until you put them in the pot here. All right, so there we go. All right, I'm done. I'm done, I promise. No more tips for a while. <laughs> Let's get started, all right? So I've got my potatoes here. All right, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and I'm going to just pour them in just like that, okay? Just like that. And then I'm going to wash my hands just because, I mean, they're always clean, but I'm going to be playing around here in the food just a bit, and I want to make sure that they're really clean. So, all right, nice clean hand. Now, you just take your potatoes, and you just layer them out like so, okay? Now, I've got my pork chops here. I'm just going to lay the pork chops on top of the potatoes, all right? Now, all right, I said I wouldn't, I said I wouldn't give any more tips for a while. Well, maybe it's been a while now. <laughs> I don't know. I do want to mention one thing about the pork chops while I'm washing my hands here. Now, the pork chops. It's really important that you don't cut the fat off the pork chops until after you serve them if you don't want the fat on them. I know some people are real fat, are real fat conscious about their foods and they tend to want to take the fat off before they cook it. The problem with that is, is that you're taking a lot of the moisture away from the recipe. And a lot of times your meat will get very dry if you eliminate all the fat off of the meat while you're cooking it. So I always tell people, leave the fat on 
if you don't want it on after it's cooked, then go ahead and cut it off. This way it provides the moisture needed to keep that meat moist. All right, just letting you know. So if your pork chops have a little fat around the sides or the ends of them, just leave it on. Leave it on. It's okay. It's all right. And then if you want to take it off at the end, just cut it around. All right, that's all you do. All right, now we're going to go ahead and pour in the soup mix. See, just like that, all on top and over your pork chops, just like that. Okay. Now, there we go. Perfect. Just like that. Now, what we're going to do, simply, is to just cover the lid like that. Make sure you turn this on now, because <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Make sure it's plugged in. Make sure that your crock pot is plugged in. I have, I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you how many times I have heard stories where people have come home and it, it hasn't, it hasn't been it hasn't cooked. It hasn't cooked at all. They flipped it on and everything, but it just, it wasn't done. And they thought there was something wrong with the crock pot until they realized they hadn't plugged it in. So make sure, first of all, your crock pot, your crock pot is plugged in and that you go ahead and set this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set this on to high because I'm going to be around for this and we're going to obviously show you in just a bit how it all turned out. But this on high will cook for four hours, okay? If you cook it on low and you've got more errands to do or you're going to be working and such, six to seven hours for low. And I would check it around six and a half hours. So those are the temperatures that you want to work with when making this crock pot creamy pork chops recipe. All right. All right. Well, we're going to let this go ahead and do its work and we're going to take a little bit of a break. We'll come right back. But before we do that, we're going to treat you to a little mailbag segment. One of our viewers out there has a question for either myself or one of our cast members that uh, does our fantastic introduction of our uh, show here with the ingredients. And let's see exactly what the question is and who this week's recipient of that question is right now. Mailbag. On this edition of Mailbag, this question is for yours truly, Chef Ron Locke. Now this question comes from Amanda A. in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Now Amanda's got a great question. We're going to have a little fun on today's segment. She's asking, hey Chef Ron, what's your marital status? <laughs> now there's no secrets on the Chef Ron Locke show, and I certainly don't have any problem answering this one. I'm currently single, but you might as well say I'm pretty much married to my career. Because between doing this show, doing my cookbooks, doing my catering business, and all the other affairs that are entwined with my uh, culinary world right now, I have very little time for anything else. It's probably about 90% of my time is spent doing everything culinary, and probably 10% sleeping when I can catch a wink or two. So currently right now I'm single. I've had a couple long-term relationships in my past, but right now I'm married to my job, and I'm loving it. It's a great relationship, actually. Can't complain. And you know what? The job never usually complains to me either, so that's even better yet. And it also provides great food, which is also a plus. So that's your answer, Amanda. Single, but married to my work. All right. If you want to ask a question of myself or one of the cast, feel free to go ahead and email us at crl at chefronlock.com. That's crl at chefronlock.com and in the subject heading just put mailbag and then ask your question and if you're lucky we may pull your question and answer here on a future segment of mailbag so without further ado let's get back to the chef ron lock show well, welcome back everyone we are ready for our final presentation on our crock pot creamy pork chops you saw in the opening of the segment how nice those looked in the crock pot. They're, the pork chops are just sitting right underneath that nice creamy soup texture and the potatoes are right underneath. And if you looked real close, you could see a couple of the potatoes actually had popped up through the actual gravy itself. That just happens in the process of cooking and that just means they're done and they are done. 
So with that, I do want to add one thing. In the break here that we had, my producer mentioned to me that I forgot to tell you one thing in the preparation of this recipe. You want to make sure you lightly grease the inside of your slow cooker or crock pot. Okay, just lightly grease it up because the potatoes may have a tendency to stick. Not always, but they may have a tendency to stick and lightly greasing it will just make cleanup a lot easier for you. Chances are they probably won't stick, but it's just a good practice to do that just to make it easy on yourself because that's what this show is all about, keeping things short and simple. So my apologies, I got so excited with this recipe. I had already done that before the segment started and I just forgot to tell you. I'm so sorry, but I'm telling you now. So remember, lightly grease the inside of your vessel there, and you'll be right as rain. Good to, good to go there. All right, we are ready to go. I've got my presentation plate right here, as you can see. This looks fantastic. Now, I, I, put, I, I did a presentation plate, and I wanted to give you a couple different ways to set this up. You can see how I've got this now. I've got my pork chop. Now, you see how nice the creamy soup kind of just cooked on top of that. That's why I said you really don't need to sear these if you don't want to because you're not going to really notice the brown because the soup co coats and covers it and it makes a really nice topping for that. So you've got your pork chop here. Now the potatoes you can do a couple different ways. You can leave them cubed and just set them on your plate like I have here. You can go ahead and take them and mash them and use some of that gravy to go ahead and mash them with. Fantastic, fantastic way of having them. So I gave you a couple different options this way. Now what you can do is you can take the pork chops and the potatoes out of the crock pot and then that leaves you with your gravy. Now if you get a little bit of cornstarch or Wonder or, or one of those products and, and it'll slowly add it to the hot soup mixture you are going to get some fantastic gravy. Add a little pepper to that, and I'm telling you, you've got a gravy that is just fantastic. You can see I've used some of that here on the pork chop and on the mashed potatoes. And if you want to spice it up a little bit, give it a little more color, go ahead and get some parsley and just sprinkle it over the plate. It's a nice presentation plate. It looks great if you got company coming over and just works real well. All right. I'm done talking. I want to eat, okay? And I'm sure you want to just check this out. So let's go ahead. Now I have a knife and a fork, but I think because this is pretty tender, I think the fork is all I'm going to really need for the pork chop. We're going to go for the pork chop first here. And I'm just going to take a piece here. Oh yeah, see? Don't even need, don't, don't even need any of that. Let me get some of the gravy here. There we go. Just like that. I better grab my napkin here. I guess I end up spilling something here. <laughs> All right. Mm. Moist, and, moist and tender. Mm. It helps if I eat everything first before I talk. <laughs> moist and tender pork chop. You're slow cooking it. You've got all this great moisture of the soups and the water that comes from the potatoes going in all this. It's perfectly done. It is just fantastic. And now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to take a little bit of each potato here. Since I'm here, I'm hungry. I haven't, it, that's the thing. You, you're you making this in, this in in the kitchen here, and you're smelling this for hours and hours, and it's just tantalizing. You get so hungry. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to take a little bit of the mashed potato here, just like this. That may be too big of a piece. All right, I'm gonna go bold without the napkin here. Mm. These potatoes are wonderful. And then we just got a couple here of the, uh, I just lightly put some pepper on these. Mm. This is wonderful. What a great home style meal here. You know, crock pot and slow cooking gets slammed sometimes from a lot of people because they call it redneck food or you know blue collar food. Hey, I was raised on redneck and blue collar food. I love that style of food. And I'm sure y'all do too if you're watching the show because that's what we do here. But what a great home style Sunday meal this is. You can uh, I had 3 of the boneless pork chops in the crock pot. If you got a bigger crock pot, you can add a little more. You can cut up the pork chops too if you want, if you want to have smaller portions. You can decide how you want to serve this and for the number of people that you're going to serve it to. The potatoes work great. 
I mean, this is just a really great comfort food meal. And what a nice presentation. Something out of a crock pot, right? Look at that's just wonderful. It really is. You can really do a wonderful, wonderful job with a meal on a budget and short and simple. There you go. Well, that's it for the Chef Ron Lock Show for this episode. I want to thank Smokey again. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Smokey did a fantastic job this time around. He did a great job the first time around too, but he just was just more in his element this time. I'm so glad to have him on. He adds just a great, a great element to the show in itself with all the other characters, the cast and such. I want to thank Smokey again. I also want to thank each and every one of you out there for tuning in each week. Your letters, your comments, it's just been fantastic. I'm, I'm really overwhelmed because it's just really taking off and everybody seems to really enjoy the show. And uh, just keep letting me know what you think. But I want to thank you all for tuning in and uh, tell your family, tell your friends, tell everybody you know to check out the Chef Ron Locke show each and every week. All right. I'm Chef Ron Locke. Just keeping it short and simple here, folks. Keep it short and simple and start heating up that kitchen. And we will see you later. Take care. <laughs>